8.54 a.m. I'm getting dressed to head out for my induction. I'm supposed to be there at about seven, well, seven, and it's currently 5.54, so we gotta get the boys up. And then I have to get something to eat. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never had an induction before. All my kids have come naturally, so I am a bit nervous, but I'll try and keep you guys updated as much as I can. And see you later. hospital and I am now checked in my room this is how my room looks so TV this is where baby will be the computers for them to work on the monitor the bed and then this is where Philip will sleep the bathroom will go in there so this is what the bathroom looks like uh, not too bad, but so I'm here and I'm ready, but I'm nervous because right now Philip is dropping the kids off. Um, I'm going to try and they want me to get dressed so they can hook me up to some monitors and check everything. My nurse is supposed to be in here at 7.30. It's 7 o'clock, so I made it on time. And then this is just my purse and my suitcase. And so guys, so I'm just going to get dressed and get situated. And I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as I can. Okay, so it is currently 9.17 a.m. And they just started induction. Um, and they started me on Pitocin and right now I'm just waiting. They did check my cervix. I was uh, two and a half centimeters. My baby is being very stubborn. Um, right now I'm just filling out paperwork and that's just the medication that they have. They are expecting me to have baby before today is over with and I am okay with that. <laughs> so I'm just waiting. Philip will be here soon. It's really not much of an update right now. I have had contractions. They were 11 minutes apart and then they got to six minutes apart and then that's when they gave me the Pitocin. So hopefully I have baby very soon. I'm hoping as soon as this Pitocin gets in, it's just like go time because I want to be pregnant all day. Hey guys, just an update. It is currently 10.42 a.m. Um, contractions are picking up. Philip has made it here. Philip has made it here. And he's sitting right over there. Babe, how do you feel? It's go time. So right now we're just waiting and... Uh, Hopefully baby be here by one, if not sooner. But contractions are definitely picking up. They up the Pitocin every 30 minutes. So definitely feeling them, but it's not like excruciating pain yet. So just keeping you guys updated. We're just here waiting. We're just here waiting, so. Nothing yet, guys.
goodness. Mmm. 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 Scale from one to ten. How does it feel? It's getting bad. It's getting bad. I don't know. It's getting bad. One oh. ten. Just a small update. It is currently 1.23 p.m. They just got through checking my cervix and I've only dilated one centimeter. So currently three centimeters right now. And I'm at a 12 for Pitocin. Uh, the contractions are really strong, so I'm just about to eat rest watch some tv and check back with you guys later okay team so i got an update um it is currently three o'clock and i am currently four and a half centimeters um and these contractions are coming so just waiting for philip to get back and they want to bust my bag because the contractions are coming two to three minutes apart. So I'm just sitting here waiting for Philip to come back. He went to pick the kids up from school. So I'm having a contraction. Sorry. Yeah, like I was saying, the contractions are coming. Um, I'm waiting for Philip to come back. He should be back any moment now. And hopefully we'll see baby by six o'clock.
be a good big exam here? Yeah, but we just, we just, sorry. <laughs> Let's give you. I'm right. trying, man. Yeah, no, you're gonna put my finger on the outside, okay? Two more contractions okay. and we can make you to work through, okay? Can we get lifted okay. back up? Yep. I was just saying, I just feel cervix still kind of a little bit in front of baby's head. Okay. It's 9.40, and it's the next day. I was so tired after delivery yesterday, but baby is here. She is healthy, and right now, like after delivery, she just got her shot. She got her eye ointment. She got vitamin K and hepatitis B shot, and we were just bonding and we were talking and you know if you've had a kid they are they are in and out in and out in and out and i was so exhausted by the end of the night i just did not pick up the camera and vlog um but it's currently friday and this is the second day that i'll be in the hospital i'll get discharged tomorrow on saturday um but she is healthy she is so beautiful i can't wait to show you guys her and today is just bonding. I was up all night, did not get any sleep. She was so hungry. 
Um, so she was on the boob all night. Um, and then I was painting from delivery. So I really didn't get much sleep. I'm waiting for food now. Philip went out to get food. But I'm really pleased with how the delivery went. It was very painful, but we'll talk about that later. I was up since four the, that morning and I didn't go to sleep until I think 1.30 or 2 a.m. Philip and I, we didn't go to sleep until that time. And then I was up every two hours with her. Um, and then I got up this morning at six to feed her. <laughs> And she went back to bed and then, the, you know, the doctors come in around 7.38 and I've been up since then. So I do look tired. I'm very tired. Hopefully today is a more relaxing day. They call it a bonding day. So they try not to bother you unless you call them. So keeping you guys updated. Thank you guys and we'll talk later. Ooh, that was a little colder, huh? <laughs> not as nice. just a update today is Saturday and it's going home day I am about to uh, get her dressed and we're gonna head out I'm just waiting on discharge papers uh, they did checks on me and baby and we all we are all cleared to go I'm happy to get out of here to get some good food and just gonna get baby dressed and we'll be on our way home oh and look at the little baby We'll get her and just kind of get her dressed. She's going to be fussy because she just ate. So, just going to make sure she is dry. And yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> the baby get out? She went through your belly button. Your oh? Belly went down it. Your belly button was stretching open. Oh, okay. That's how she came out? Yeah. Okay. We are headed home. Um, leaving the hospital. I am so happy to get up out of there. 
Uh, we're just about to get some food and go home. Um, I'm not sure when you guys will see this video, but it'll be up. And thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.